Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss about the sound as a wave. Um, let's start it. Look at the speaker. We have the loudspeaker uh, having the structure of cone like and that moves uh, outward and inward and this causing the stretching and squashing in the air molecule in front of this one and this stretch stretches and the squashes spread through the air and uh, it is just like the ripples on a pond or when you throw a stone into some pond and it will produce the sound waves and that will reach to your ears by vibrating the eardrums here we have uh, the model of a sound wave you can see it here i have the model of the sound wave when it is producing i am giving i am taking you uh, the example of the spring here um, when a loud speaker squashes then air in front of it air molecules are forced together and that is the compression you can see it the air molecules are forced together this is the compression and when the loudspeaker stretches it means that the molecules are spread out it is like this one and this is called the rarefaction this is the compression and this is the rarefaction and the sound waves are actually the series of the compressions and the rarefaction compressions and the rarefactions and what is the wavelength wavelength is the distance between two compressions and two rarefactions here i have two compressions and the two rarefactions the distance between this is the wavelength it means that the distance between the two compressions and the two rarefactions here is the compression and the rarefaction and the difference between them is our wavelength it means that the conversion of the compression into the rarefaction is r1 wavelength uh, here we have the slinky spring and we are using this model to explain the rarefaction compression and r wavelength sound waves uh, uh, the spring uh, here we have the wave on the spring and the sound waves are also the longitudinal waves what is meant by the longitudinal waves longitudinal waves means that their vibrations move forward and backward not up and down you can see that the waves are moving forward and backward there is no movement between them just like the up and down movement so this one is the longitudinal waves uh, and it is not like uh, the waves on the sea you can uh, see the waves on the ocean or on the sea they are like the upward and downward movement and upward and downward movement is not the longitudinal waves and uh, sound waves this this sound wave is actually the example of an oscillation what is the oscillation oscillation is actually a regular backward and forward movement forward or backward movement you can say that or upward or the downward movement um if you uh, um attach a mass on this spring you can see that it will oscillate uh, forward and back backward and it will pull the mass attached with it it is just like uh, uh, that it is once pulled and then left and it will then uh, when it will be released it will move uh, this value upward uh, backward and forward it is just like the child swing that is pushed once and it will once it will released it will form the movement of the compression and the rarefaction and also producing the wavelength in it that is the oscillation uh, here we have uh, the test of test yourself in which you can answer the questions of what we have discussed today first of all is what are sound waves so sound waves uh, are uh the movement of air squashing um squashing and stretching the air molecules and producing the sound that are the sound waves and next one is in sound waves what is the distance between the compressions called the distance between the compressions or the two rarefaction is called the wavelength as we discussed earlier and next what is a longitudinal waves longitudinal waves the waves that is produced on the spring or on the sound waves that are forward and backward and not up and down that are the longitudinal waves next is how sound waves are different from the waves in the sea or the ripples on the water 
the sound waves are longitudinal waves but uh, in the sea longitudinal waves can't be produced this is the difference between the sound waves and the waves of the sea that's all hope it will be clear to you thank you